What happened, Doc? That was an eye pressure alarm in a ventilator. Now it's sorted out. Okay. But how do you set these alarms in the ventilator? You can set different types of alarm in a ventilator. Let me tell you some important ones. First one is high pressure alarm. So this alarm will go off when the peak inspiratory pressure exceeds a particular threshold. So airway pressure exceeds when there is increased airway resistance or decreased lung compliance of the patients. Normally we set a limit of 10 points above the normal peak inspiratory pressure. Second one is low pressure alarm. When the peak inspiratory pressure falls below a particular set point, this alarm will go off. It indicates either a disconnection or a leak from the circuit. Next one is high frequency alarm. When the respiratory rate of the patient exceeds a particular threshold, this alarm will go off. It indicates hyperventilation and we need to sort it out immediately. And fourth one is apnea alarm. When a patient fails to trigger a breath for 20 seconds or when the respiratory rate falls below a certain threshold, this alarm will go off and it is a life-threatening condition. Next one is high volume and low volume alarm. Okay, this alarm will go off when the tidal volume that is delivered to the patient is exceeding or falling below the normal threshold level. So such alarms will help us to monitor that adequate tidal volume is delivering to the patient. Interesting. So these are the ones that are not allowing me to sleep. Yeah.